Good morning, folks. One for two isn't bad. Climate change is responsible for our weather, but we aren't responsible for climate change. CO2 emissions are nothing compared to methane released from the poles and the effect of the sun. Here's Ernesto churning in the Caribbean. It does appear that this will present the biggest threat south of the U.S. border. Florence coming behind him should miss us entirely. 4.4 earthquake struck Central California this morning. A 4.5 hit the Dominican Republic. Denmark took an unusual tremor as well, and the UK had flash flooding throughout the weekend. Some areas are still in standing water. The White Islands volcano blew as well. They're not showing on this map, but New Zealand has been very seismically active the last week. Solar wind here. Orange is the density. You can see in the morning hours we had some up and down fluctuation. I really like the changes to the Ovation Prime. It appears more sensitive to the density spikes rather than geomagnetic disturbance. That's what magnetometers are for. You might remember this filament went ballistic two days ago, popped off a good sized CME. It's a left side eruption as we look at it here, but you can see ejecta on the right. That means it's going to hit Earth probably tonight or tomorrow. These active regions are still complex, but boring and quiet just how we like it. That plasma filament is still there. Today would be the worst day to fire away. You stay in your seat. That little dark spot behind it, that's a tiny coronal hole which despite its size should affect Earth at least moderately in the coming days. Here's Stereo B with the Earth off to the right. This shows what is coming at us. Like that South Pole coronal hole extending up to the equator. That'll be a quake watch when she faces us. Also this tiny bright spot here. Now while it's barely creeping over the limb right now, her explosions are still registering M-class on the GOES X-ray flux. I'd expect a busy week. Best news is that these blue spikes rather than red means our outer shields are absorbing the radiation. I'll leave you with some shots of our new buddy turning the limb. Her M-flare is popping. That's the news, folks. Be safe.